Hello and welcome to season two. That's what I'm calling it anyway. Kicking off with something a bit different. As you can tell, I'm not in the garage. I haven't decided to start working on trains. I'm on the beginning of a road trip or a one way road trip anyway. I'm off to Newcastle to go and pick up a car. And absolutely no prizes for guessing what sort of car it is. So my friend Ollie is a man with excellent taste in cars, um, particularly cabriolets. And he's been sat uh, on this particular car for a year or so, I think. The red line. This is the safety area we'll talk to him about platform. it. But suffice to say, it's in much better condition than what was going to be the GT. And this is going to be the new platform for the GT. It's kind of ideal in a lot of ways. It will save me a lot of time, a lot of work. It will accelerate the progress of that project massively. And actually, it will probably save me some money as well, even though I'm now buying a second car. But we'll get into what I'm going to do with the existing car when we get back to the garage. There it is. Made it all the way to Newcastle. This is the new basis for my GC project. So this is a Japanese import Z3, uh, 1.9 litre engine, automatic box, which is a good thing, as we'll come to see. Uh, we think M Sport suspension, uh, aftermarket wheels, which themselves apparently worth just about 900 quid. <laughs> Uh, which is amazing. A um, few minor blemishes, but I'll show you when I get this back to the garage. The condition underneath of this thing is incredible. This might be, what's it now? Nine? No, hang on. What are we in? 2022, aren't we? So this thing's 25 years old. It's only got about 35,000 miles on the clock. And ever since it's been imported from Japan, and this is a Japanese import car, it has been pretty much either in storage or garaged. It's done one winter outside in the UK. Um, it's got a very nice interior. I think this is probably the nicest of the uh, BMW sports seats, Z3 sports seats I've seen. In fact, I think with the cleanup, those are going to be absolutely lovely. I, I like those a lot. Wood interior, I really like that steering wheel. Um, that is very, very nice indeed, so we'll be keeping that. A um, few minor things need doing. These need to come off and get cleaned up and resprayed. I'll also be doing my mods to the centre console at some point for um, doubled in, so we can get a nice touch screen in there. Um, probably going to keep the rest of it fairly as it is though. I like the auto box and that might work quite well with the plans for the drivetrain. Ripping the roof, not a problem in the long term because obviously this is going to be a hard top when I do the body conversion. Um, and actually, because we are now, and I haven't announced this yet, but scrapping <laughs> the previous GT base, we have lots of spare parts, including a decent screen. One of my favorite bits on this car is in here. Some fuck you Oka BMW. How cool is that? I'm gonna to have to find some way to keep that and transfer it over to the new car when the boot comes off. A few minor scratches here and there, but again, not a big issue. I have to say, I do love the number plate. It's a love machine. Apparently the body's ceramic coated, and so a good wash will come up. A few scratches on these wheels, probably need a bit of refurbishing because I do keep them. I do like them though, they are nice. Loving the white dials. Now it's in kilometres, um, which you know, not the end of the world, but might need tweaking. 
can easily swap that out. It's got a tape deck at the moment. My friend Ollie has kindly given me some tapes to go with it to take home, uh, which should be good fun. I really like this. So this is the sport mode, economy mode, and manual mode. I'm thinking we might keep that and repurpose it. That could be really good fun. Also has aircon, which I was really keen to have um, for the GT since it's going to be a hard top, um, which we can make work with the Outlander compressor. So, just got to do the paperwork and then set off back to Manchester. A happy man. Seemed a shame not to stop at local landmark as I was driving past. No, not car park. That up there. <laughs> the Angel of the North. Right next to where I picked the car up. First thoughts. Tries really well. Feels nice and tight. Tracking's all good. Handles nicely around roundabouts. Does feel low. Um, that 1.9 is a little bit. I do know it's not bad, even to the auto box. The kick down takes a little while. But um, but yeah, having some fun already. It's going to be really interesting with a good, healthy dose of electric power in there. Good old British weather. I've had the hood down for the last <coughs> hour or so, um, which has been great fun. Um, but I've had to unfortunately put it up here at the services because I was getting a bit wet. Um, <coughs> I think the, uh, there's a bit of a problem with the seats, with the driver's seat, a bit of a shuffle. Can't work the stereo out at all. Um, so we have tunes. But uh, I can't change them. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I can. Okay, whatever that is. This is the place where Let's everything had to be. Clearly, if you take the cassette tape out, it goes back to radio. But that's about the only thing I can work out how to do. None of the buttons seem to do anything. Um, right, we've got to crack on. Traffic's getting worse and worse, so time to get home. I'll be honest, it's not been an easy journey to get here. After that massive smash on the M62 and a five hour journey to drive back through all sort of uh, back roads of, of that part of Yorkshire, I guess. Uh, then a complete faff with actually getting access to the garage. Uh, while I was on holiday, the landlord decided to get some copies of the key done. Uh, the locksmith missed two deadlines to return them uh, and basically cost me a full day's work on the cars today because I couldn't get access until about three o'clock this afternoon. Despite that, I've got this car in here while its insurance is still valid and its tax and everything else, so I'll sawn it from tomorrow and then make a start on stripping it down at some point. Clearly some priorities in all the projects before that but really, really pleased with it. Enjoyed the drive home. Few things that need sort of sorting out, tidying up um, alongside the uh, EV swap before its next MOT, which will be as an electric car. But such a great platform. Love the color. Think I'm going to stick with this color for the GT. Um, drives really well. Don't think any of the suspension parts will need replacing like they would have done on the old car. Uh, and yeah, you know, I think very pleased with this deal so thanks Ollie for doing me a good deal on this car um, I promise to look after it and make it something very very special because of the lack of time I'm not going to record as much video as I wanted to today but uh, next GT episode will walk over the other original car that was going to be the platform for the GT and explain why it's going to be scrapped what I'm going to take out of it uh, and what's going to happen to that. Obviously it's got the spider, it's got the cabriolet body on it at the moment, um, so I'm not going to get rid of it straight away. 
But before that, the next big episode will be wheels spinning on the newly upgraded 300 slash Cabriolet slash Spider. Maybe you're gonna call it the Spider instead of the 300. It make things a little bit clearer. I've got a Cabrio, I've got a GT. They're both based on Z3s. That should make things a little bit clearer. So I've done a bit of work on that this afternoon. Got lots to show you in the next episode. It'll be coming out on Monday. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you then.